when we first got together, I started doing comedy. I, you know, as a comedian, I don't get a lot of money. I'm not being funny. That's probably why I don't get a lot of money. Um, <laughs> but now it's okay not to have kids, right? Because of the environment. I mean, we know that the more kids the planet can't take all these people, so the more kids you have, that kind of that's fucking up the planet. So uh, that's why I never stand up for pregnant women on the tube. It, um... <laughs> Just encourages them. Uh, lazy eye. This is the only eye that does anything. This eye, pointless and embarrassing. It's like, it's the Prince Andrew of my face, right? And, <laughs> uh, my wife loves the fact that her husband has got a lazy eye. She uh, uses it as an excuse not to give money to charity. She... <laughs> tells people she's already doing her bit. Um, Apart from my wonky eye, I, I'm also missing the foreskin. But, uh... <laughs> I say missing your voice, it's not like I didn't, I didn't leave it in the taxi on the way. <laughs> um, <laughs> hey Aziz, that was, that was a great journey. Have a tip. I didn't know that. Um, it was removed in hospital and then taken to the burns unit where three people got new faces. I, uh, <laughs> I'm not a Catholic anymore, I'm an atheist. Have we got any atheists in? Yay! Atheists say amen! Go up my house. Go up my house, Jesus was a big deal, right? For my mum, he was like a god. So I could never... I, I, could, I could never tell my mum I'm an atheist. She'd be so disappointed she would die. And then after she died, disappointed again. Right, so. uh, I went to school with a kid called Richard. And Richard's dad worked for the BMP. So for people who don't know, the BMP like horrible right-wing fascist party. Uh, Richard's dad believed that he was racially and intellectually better than anyone else. Yet, ironically, he couldn't spell the words racially, intellectually, or better. Anyway, <laughs> he came into school, Richard's dad came into school one day and he beat up our geography teacher, who was a Muslim, just beat him up. Not only was it the scariest day ever at school, it was also the last day that parents were allowed to come into class to show us what they did for a living. So. We didn't have geography for three months after that, right? Because our geography teacher was in hospital for three months. And years later, I bumped into Richard in a pub. When I moved back to England, I bumped into Richard in a pub. And he had become exactly like his horrible racist dad. The first thing Richard said to me was, oh, I can't even recognize my own country. And I couldn't help but think, well, maybe if you had those three months of geography. <laughs> he, also, he loves drinking, my dad, as well. He can't understand people who don't drink, right? And he, he called me recently because he wants to come to London, I live in London, he wants to come to London, rent a car and drive around. He said, he said, Cyclops is what he calls me. He's like, he's like, he's like <laughs> Cyclops, what will be the punishment if I get caught drink driving? And I was like, I, I, I don't know, Dad, because uh, when I drink, I don't drive, right? There was silence on the phone for about 30 seconds, and he says, just because just you moved to London, you think you're better than us. <laughs> And I know where he's coming from, because in Malta, get this, in Malta, drink driving is actually legal. This is true, yeah. Malta's an independent country where it doesn't rain and you can drink and drive. It's literally all the things Scotland wishes it could be. And, <laughs> and the European Union, they don't like this, right? Because people get run over all the time. And so they've been putting a lot of pressure on the Maltese government to do something. And so the Maltese government have been thinking, what can we do? And they don't want to introduce any anti-drink driving laws, because that would be a bit too crazy. So instead... Instead, they came up with the best education campaign in history, right? And they, they came up with this slogan, and they used it in, on newspapers and billboards everywhere. Simple slogan, it's just this, it's, if you are gonna drink, drive slowly. <laughs> and I didn't even realize I was going in for a circumcision operation. I thought my dad had changed his mind about my eye. Um, <laughs> ironically, when they did do that, that was the only time my eye ever focused. Right. <laughs>